first thing I did was just prime my lids using a MAC paint pot in Painterly, and this is just going to keep your eye makeup looking perfect until you decide to wash it off. Next I used a white eyeliner pencil on my lids, starting from the lash line and going up to the crease. Now using a white base underneath any eyeshadow is just going to make it look a lot brighter. I went right on top of that white with a silver eyeshadow, you just want to pat 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 that on. Then I applied a matte white eyeshadow to the inner corners and extended that down a bit on the sides of my nose. I added a little bit of a deep gray shade at the outer third of the lid in a bit of an almost V-like shape. Next, using the tips of the bristles of a stiff shadow brush, I traced a brown shade along the sockets of the eyes and extended it down the sides of the nose a bit, as well as out past the outer corners of the eyes, almost creating a bit of a wing effect. Now for the brows. But don't ask what I did to mine, just rest assured that I'm Greek so the little hairs will grow back in a couple of days. Anyway, I filled them in with a black uh, eyeshadow and extended them straight up towards my temples. Katie had no arch in this look, so try to get it as straight as you possibly can. Now I'm using a white liner to sketch in the little white spots on the outer portions of the lids and temples. Fill in the spaces between the white spots with a light brown eyeshadow. Then go over the white spots with a white eyeshadow, just intensify them a bit if you'd like. Look at me trying to cover my beauty mark with white eyeliner. <laughs> Fail. Then I use a brown eyeliner to sketch on the spots on the forehead. But in all honesty, it probably would have worked a lot better and looked a lot softer if I just used, you know, a little shadow and a small brush. But anyway, I went over the center strip of spots with a cranberry eyeshadow just to alter the color a bit just because the spots weren't all one shade in the video. I also went over the smaller spots with a bit of a light brown eyeshadow just to lighten them up a bit. Then with the liner, my suggestion is to definitely take your time because I don't really think I did. I think I kind of rushed. Um, but most importantly, make sure to keep the wings of the liner parallel to the brows. I then smudged underneath the liner with a light brown eyeshadow. Now for the rest of my face, I just started by contouring my cheeks a little bit using a bit of a bronzer and then I went ahead and started creating the spots. Now I realized after filming that Katie had three rows of spots and I only did two. But I was working from my memory so I just did it how I remembered it. <laughs> I added some false lashes and then moved on to the lips. I used a brownie nude lipstick, this is MAC Viva Glam Gaga 2. And then I pat it on top of that with a bit of a bronzy brown eyeshadow, mainly in the center of the lips. I remember the bridge of Katie's nose looking very nicely highlighted, so I blended on a little bit of a cream highlighter straight down the center. And for the hair, I created two braids using the longest bottom layers of my own hair, and then I pinned on a black wig to the back of my head. I brought up the braids and then pinned them in place to be like a headband. And now, as you can see, I've been using a gold cream Makeup Forever Flash color just to paint over the braids with. If you're wondering, it washes right out with shampoo. And that's the finished look. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.